Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see another question, the third one on Taylor series. Find the Taylor series expansion of f of x is equal to x to the power 6 into e to the power of 2x cube about the point x is equal to 1 about the point x is equal to 1 so this x is equal to 1 is nothing but the a value which is 1 and we know about any such point the expansion f of x is given as f of a plus x minus a f dash of a plus x minus a square by 2 factorial f double dash of a x minus a cube by 3 factorial and so on the higher values right so in this case this a is actually nothing but 1 and of course if it had been h so it is x minus a which is x minus 1 in this case so we have this function f of x is equal to x to the power of 6 into e to the power of 2x cube the first derivative will be we can use uv product rule so it will be for the first term like if you start with x to the power 6 it will be 6x to the power 5 into e to the power of 2x cube plus for this one it is 2 into 3 x square into x to the power 6 into e to the power of 2x cube so if we are taking this e to the power 2x cube common not required but we can do it we'll have 6x to the power 5 and what do we get this x square and x to the power 6 will become x to the power 8 and this becomes 6 so this is 6 x to the power of 8 so this is our first derivative the second derivative will be again if you are starting with this one we can directly we can also write if it is e to the power x or e to the power function of e like e to the power of function of x let's not write f of x let's say it is px into qx so we know the differentiation of this function also so I'm writing this e to the power 2x cube outside and we have already seen that the differentiation for this function which we have done in the previous case was 6x square this one 6x square so I'm directly writing it as 6x square and this v if this is u this is v so v 6x to the power 5 plus 6x to the power of 8 so this was about u and then v so v will also carry this e to the power 2x cube and the differentiation of this term this term this entire thing so this is going to be plus of 30x to the power of 4 plus 6, 8 which will be 48x to the power of 7. So we have two of the terms with x to the power 7. This x square and x5 will also give x to the power 7. So this is 2x cube. Let's write 
with the highest one so the highest one will come from these two terms x to the power of 10 so 36 x to the power of 10 and this x to the power of 7 like this multiplication and this one will together be 36 plus 48 which is 84 so I'll write it as 84 x to the power 7 this is also done and then we are left with x to the power of 4 so plus 30 x to the power of 4 this is what we'll get so this is our second derivative and likewise we can also have third derivative so now it will be easier e to the power of 2 x cube we can directly write and again we know that the expand, uh, differentiation for this this term will be 6 x square this taken already outside we can repeat this entire term here 36 x to the power of 10 plus 84 x to the power of 7 plus 30 x to the power of 4 and the differentiation of this entire term which will be 36 x to the power 10 which will be 36 into 10 360 x to the power of 9 this is 84 x to the power 7 so I'll write something 84 into 7 x to the power of 6 and one more term 30 into x to the power 4 so I'm writing it as 120 x cube right 30 x to the power 4 was also there so that will become 120 x cube so this is the third derivative which we have done in a single line only now we need this values at x is equal to 1 right we need the values at f of 1 so a is equal to 1 so f of 1 starting from the first one f of 1 so x to the power 6 which is x equal to 1 and e to the power of 2 so this becomes simply e square f dash f dash of x will come from here so f dash 1 will become e square and inside it will be 6 this becomes 1 and 6 so this is 12 times of e square then second derivative f double dash at 1 again e to the power 2 and inside we will have I'm writing it here see all this x to the power 10 x 7 x 4 this all will become 1 so this is nothing but 36 plus 84 plus 30 so 36 and 84 will become 120 and this is 30 so 150 and the last one from here f third derivative at 1 will be e square again I have not resolved it because we have to put x equal to 1 and then we can see what is happening. So we have already seen the sum of these terms which is nothing but the same here is 150. So this is actually like if you want to check 36 plus 84 plus 30 because x to the power 4, 10, 7 everything is going to be 1. So it is 6 into 150 plus from these terms again it will be 360 plus 84 into 7 which will be 588 so we can write it 588 plus 120 and this is going to be like adding all this term we'll get 1968 e square so these are the four terms we are going to use in the expansion and the expansion is going to be if we have any space here yes we can manage some space here right so f of x is now f of 1 which is e square so e square plus f dash of a f dash of a is f dash of a is e square so it will be 12 e square into 
x minus 1. If double dash, if double dash is 150 e square, so this is 150 e square x minus a or I'll write x minus 1 x minus 1 square by 2 factorial this is also fine and the next one is we have already seen this is 1968 1968 e square and x minus 1 cube by 3 factorial so this gives f of x is equal to e square plus 12 e square into x minus 1 of course you can take this e square common if you want plus 75 e square x minus 1 square plus this 3 factorial is 6 so 1968 divided by 6 will be 3 and then 2 and then 4 so sorry 8 so 328 e square x minus 1 cube plus higher order terms so this is the expansion about x is equal to 1 in our case that's it